welcome to A1 Technical Videos. My name is Horace Park. Today we're going to take this reed valve plate for a 4R, 6R, and we're going to install it on this uh, reed compressor here. We're going to start by removing the head. First you want to tap down on the head, that usually will jar it loose from your compressor. It will also help it, so most of the time it will save the gasket. Next, you want to remove the valve plate assembly. Real easy, just prise up on this tab, it will loosen up the valve plate. Next, you want to make sure you scrape all the, the gasket surfaces all the head surfaces and the compressor surfaces must be completely free of the old gasket material. This was a suction reed that just came off of here. This are the crimp pads. They go on first whenever you're installing it. They're there to stop the cylinder wall from sawing the reed into. These are new reeds, so I'm going to leave them on here. We're going to open our valve plate box. This is a new reed pack that comes with new pins. I really don't recommend changing the pins. They're hard to get out, they're case hardened, and if you break one, it's just a hard thing to get out. It'll come with several gaskets. The key point, if you forget everything else that I'm saying today, the key point is to make sure that you get the correct gasket to match the cylinder wall. Most of your Copeland valve plates come with several, some of them four or five gaskets. When you want to know which one to use, you always want to use the one that matches the cylinder wall. If it hangs inside and outside the cylinder wall, let's see here, turn this thing the right way. As you can see, this hangs outside the cylinder wall. This would be the wrong gasket. To install this gasket would completely kill the efficiency of the compressor because all your high compressed gas when it came, comes, when the piston comes up the top dead center, is going to fill in these little areas here, strictly killing the efficiency of the compressor. So this is not the gasket you want to use. The correct gasket is this one here, which absolutely matches the cylinder walls exactly. Good clean efficiency. And our head gasket. All these valve plates are readily available here at A1. We remanufacture the valve plate. We surface both sides of it, install a new discharge reed along with new valve plate bolts. Install the gas head gasket on it. Reinstall the head. Like I said, all the Copeland and Carrier valve plate kits are readily available here at A1. See your wholesaler. Torque your head bolts to somewhere around 30 pounds and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>